Welcome back everybody, my name is Taylor Martin, this is The Best Damn EDC, and today I was supposed to be making an EDC Weekly. I said I was going to, but yesterday, or actually all week, we've really been dealing with sleep regression. Uh, Eleanor is four months old today, and she apparently forgot how to sleep through the night. So she teased us on... <laughs> she's looking at me like, don't talk about me like that. I guess it was Monday night or Sunday night, she slept for 12 hours straight and she teased us because after that, no, now she sleeps like two hours and wakes up and just, she can't sleep through the night now. Long story short, I meant to do the EDC Weekly this week. I ran out of time. I fell asleep yesterday during the day. I wanted to get a video out today and I've been talking about doing this best Walmart EDC possible video for some time. And I've really just mainly been planning and over planning and trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. I just decided to go there, buy the stuff and come here and talk about it. So nothing fancy, just I went to Walmart earlier today. I just got back actually. And I went through the things that I have in my personal EDC and basically replaced each one of them with the best item in that category that I could find at the Walmart near me, which is Concord Mills. We didn't go to the closest one to us because that Walmart is garbage. It is literal garbage. So we went a little further out to a nicer Walmart and uh, well, it wasn't much better. It's Walmart, what can you expect? With all of that said, this is the best damn EDC you can put together at Walmart, at least according to me. And let's do the damn thing. So just like the 50 and $100 Amazon budget challenge videos, this video is not to say, go out and do this stuff right now, go buy this. This is really just a fun thought experiment video showing that actually you could walk into Walmart with not much of an EDC and walk out with a decent EDC for not too much money. I think total I spent right at $150. The most expensive thing was the watch, next was the, the knife, and then other than that, everything was pretty budget friendly, like two, three, maybe $5 for everything. Like it, it was pretty cheap other than the watch and the knife. The options are there. This was just a fun, quick video I wanted to throw together, very similar to the Amazon video. It was less of a budget challenge and more of just a challenge in general because finding the stuff actually took some forethought and some creative thinking because a lot of the stuff is there. It's there for the taking, but you have to think about where it might be in the store. It's not exactly where you think it would be because the key thing that I found, the key strap, I guess is what they're calling it, was in the paint section, <laughs> you know? like. It's not all where you would think it would be. The notebook wasn't in the notebook aisle where the pens and school supplies are. It was actually in the craft section. You have to kind of spend some time meandering to find the stuff you really want. I think that was the fun part of all this. And unfortunately, I didn't capture that on video. I did some research last night, found out that Walmart's policy does not allow you to record in stores and I didn't want to take my whole camera rig in there. So this, this is what you get. Okay, so before I went to Walmart, I wrote down exactly what I was gonna be looking for. I did not fill this in, but these were the items that I was looking for at Walmart. A knife, flashlight, wallet, pen, pry bar, watch, notebook, question mark, and a key, key, key clip, key clip slash organizer. Uh, I didn't fill that in. I didn't find everything on that list. Well, I did, but I chose to omit some things from the list. So let's start with the most obvious thing which is gonna be the knife. There were a couple of different options when it came to knife. Uh, I was honestly going in looking for an Ontario rat because I think that's the best value. There are better knives than the rat at Walmart, but also I don't think they're necessarily worth the price. So the options that I was met with was a buck 110, which I almost went with. There was a Kershaw leak, which I also almost bit the bullet and just went with it, but I didn't want something assisted. There was the Kershaw blur, which is just like a bigger, more robust leak almost, but it was unassisted. And then there was the obvious Spyderco Tenacious, which that's what I went with. I'm, I'm currently carrying one of these for the $50 Amazon budget video. I bought another one. The Tenacious will forever plague me because I bought one a long time ago. I carried it and used it a lot and then I sold it. And then like two weeks later, I decided I'm gonna do a best knife under $50 video and you guys selected the Tenacious. So I had to buy another and here I am with yet another Tenacious. So I'm gonna do something cool with this one, but this was the... 
Really? You had to choose that spot to lay and scratch against my tripod. Dude, stop. Go away. <laughs> the whole thing was shaking. Stop. Not against my tripod. <laughs> anyway, the Tenacious... This one's like... Actually, out of the box on this one's not great. Let's see if I can spidey flick it. There we go. The, the Tenacious, honestly, I don't think it's worth the price that it's still set at. This was, I think, $42 or $43. For that money, you can get much, much, much better knives. You can get something like the Civivi Elementum for 50 bucks. This one, with having 8 CR13 MOV steel, really what you're paying for are the Ergos and the Spyderco Tax. So I would love for Spyderco to update this knife with better steel. 8 CR is fine. It's gonna be perfectly fine for an everyday carry knife. You're just gonna to have to learn to sharpen it and you're gonna to have to sharpen it more frequently, but that it, it's perfectly fine. I just think it's a little overpriced at 42, 43 bucks, but it's still a great, great knife. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought a third one. I'm sick and tired of buying the Tenacious. Next up on this list is Flashlight. Boy, that was rough. Um, I've been to three separate Walmarts now looking for flashlights, just kind of preparing for this video, nothing. There are garbage lights available and that's about it. And I would rather not have a flashlight in my EDC than carry a big bulky two AAA flashlight that has a hundred lumen output. Like, no, I'm not carrying something like that. I would rather just use the light on my phone. So that's what I'm doing. For this experiment, we're just gonna say flashlight on my phone, I don't need one. Wallet, this is another big oof sort of situation. This is, what I found to be probably the best pre-made option at Walmart. It's a George magnetic closure wallet. It was, it says genuine leather and it is a magnetic. It's pretty tight, uh, pretty slim. It's okay. I don't really necessarily care for it. It would get the job done, but I had an idea. So I know just based on a past project that I'd, I've done that Walmart has these elastic bands and I also don't mind the elastic wallets like the tight wallet or the Kinsed one that I had for my $100 carry. I actually really like elastic wallets. So what I did is I bought this roll of one inch wide elastic and there's a little trick. You don't have to sew anything. All you have to do is cut a piece of elastic. I'll do it on camera right now because it does not take long at all. Just kind of wrap around to see approximately how much elastic you're gonna need and cut a little less than that. The trick is to get it just a little bit tight. And the beauty of this elastic is that it has vertical bands so you can cut straight. So I have a Pioneer X here. So once you have it trimmed up and straight, all you really need is a little bit of super glue. But I do encourage you to be careful with this because this gets hot. So it's actually causing a chemical reaction. The glue is not just gluing two pieces of elastic together. The rubber bands inside the elastic are actually melting. The super glue causes a reaction with those and they melt and it gets very hot and it'll actually smoke sometimes. So just take your super glue, put a little bit of it along the seam, line it up straight and press together. And you will feel it get warm instantly. So once this dries, all you do is just slide your cards in. I actually cut it a little long, so it's a little big for mine. You could just go long ways if you wanted. And boom, you have a cheap, cheap elastic band wallet. If it breaks, you can make another in two minutes. I would much rather carry this over this. So that's the wallet, elastic band and some super glue. Get creative, guys. This is perfectly fine. Next on this list is pen. I sat in the pen aisle for quite a while. I was looking at the zebras and I was looking for something specific, but apparently Walmart doesn't carry it. So I ended up going with the Pilot G2. If you recall from my $50 budget Amazon video, I didn't really care for the zebra as an everyday carry pen. I loved them in high school. I think they're still a great pen, but the clip doesn't have really great retention and it would just always fly out of my pocket. These I know have great retention on the clips and I love the inserts. I would prefer what I was looking for was a G2 Mini. Uh, because after the video, I could just put that insert in the pin that I actually carry, uh, but they don't carry them. Apparently, Staples is one of the only stores that actually carries a G2 Mini. But yeah, you know the drill. Pilot G2, it's just a really great gel pin. Reliable, cheap. I think this was like $2 for a two-pack, $3 maybe. They're just great pins. Not something I would actually technically want to carry every single day, but it gets the job done, and I can use these refills in some of my other pins, like the Tactile Turn bolt action and urban survival gear pins, stuff like that. The next thing on the list is a watch. And 
This is probably the best part of the carry. When it comes to watches at Walmart, they've actually got a decent selection. You can find some Timex Expedition watches there, the Scout. I actually found an Expedition Field Chronograph there once a long time ago, but they have the Casio World Time. They have the Casio Calculator Watch, which is, you know, awesome. And they have a bunch of different options in the Timex Casio realm. And depending on your stance on Casio and Timex watches, if you're okay with them, Walmart has a lot of selections. There are G-Shocks there that you can buy, but there's the classic G-Shock option, which they carry. It's about $48, but I wanted a step up. I ended up going with this G-Shock right here for one main reason. It has all the same features as the other one. It's about $88, but the illumination on this one is really nice. If you can see that right there. It looks really great, and this has a vibration alarm. So not only can you have a sound alarm, you can have a silent alarm that just vibrates on your wrist, and I thought that would be, if I were to buy a watch, that would be a function that I would look for, especially in a digital G-Shock like this. Having a vibration alarm is much better for me than a beeping alarm. I have a very small child, and those beeps will wake her up, a vibration on my wrist won't. This is something like I almost wish I had gone with the cheaper G-Shock because I may not actually even wear this watch that much, but uh, this is also, I would say, maybe a little more robust, a little bigger dial for my wrist because I have a, I guess it's seven and seven eighths wrist. I've got a pretty big wrist, but yeah, Casio G-Shock, you can get these at Walmart. I think this is a perfectly fine watch. You could also go a little cheaper if you want it. Here is another one of those categories, the notebook, which is... So when it comes to notebooks, you would actually probably think in your head, go back to the school supply section of the Walmart and find a notebook there along with all the other notebooks. And if you do, this is about the only pocket sized notebook you're gonna find. This was a four pack, which uh, apparently I only got three. It was opened, I didn't realize it. So I'm missing one of these. And top down spiral notebook. I'm never gonna carry one of these in my pocket. I am actually left-handed, so this could be beneficial for me, but this is just gonna get torn up in my pocket pretty quickly, and it's not gonna fit in any of the organizers that I like to carry. So, while I was over looking at the elastic band for the wallet, I actually stumbled across this, which is a pocket sketchbook. It's very, very similar to a Field Notes notebook. It's the same size. You don't have lined paper, but you do have nice paper for sketching. So, I think these would be pretty good. This was two bucks for a single notebook. So a little more expensive than the others, but if you're looking for a pocket notebook, something even actually quite good for sketching, Walmart has this, but it's in the craft section. It is not where the rest of the notebooks are. Okay, the final thing is the key clip slash organizer and the pry tool, which I skipped over the pry earlier. We have pry and key clip slash organizer. Those are together. These were both back in the tool section, actually at the paint desk. They have a little keychain section there and I walked by it totally missed it the first time. And then when I was walking out, I came across this, which lo and behold is very similar to what I already carry. The Tail of Knives Clipster. This is just an OD green Velcro belt loop with an HK clip on it. I would not have ever expected to see this at Walmart. This was like $3, $2, $3. I don't know. There was only one of them and I don't know what the actual price was. I'd have to look at the receipt, but this right here, pretty sweet. Pretty cool find at Walmart, and I actually could see myself using this. I was very concerned about not being able to find some sort of pry tool because that is, as you know from the old budget videos that I've done, something that I've missed in those videos, so I wanted to make it a point to try to find a pry tool at Walmart. This is what I found, and I mean, I guess it's gonna get the job done. It's a very thin stock stainless steel. It's got a file on it, so it says it feels pretty smooth. A flat head, it has a Phillips head, a bottle opener, some wrenches, and a spring clip right there. But uh, I think it'll be okay. I think this was five bucks. Definitely too expensive for what it actually is. Oh, and there's a cord cutter right there. Definitely overpriced. I think it would get the job done for me, but this goes back to what I said at the beginning of the video. This is just a thought experiment and me just kind of showing you what you could do at your local Walmart if you're looking to get into EDC or just expand your current one or fix a few things that you would like to replace, you know, get a nicer watch or even just pick up a pry tool at your local Walmart, you can. Uh, and I honestly would recommend 
going to Lowe's over Walmart if you're looking for something like this or some Home Depot, some hardware store. They typically have nine ties, doohickeys and Gerber shards and, and better pocket tools, honestly. But apparently Walmart does have this little pry tool. They do have some tools that you can throw on your keys, at least one. It, it is this brand utility series. This is the eight and one key tool. And then they also, the key clip or key strap was also from them, but it is tactical, so you know it's good. <laughs> that that pretty much does it for the EDC from Walmart. I think I think I came out okay. So there it is. That's the whole best Walmart EDC I could put together. Pilot G2, DIY elastic wallet, a sketch pocket notebook, some tactical 8-in-1 key multi-tool, a key strap, spider tenacious, and a Casio G-Shock. I don't know what the, the model number on that is. GD350-1WTT. There you go. Let me put the watch on my wrist really quickly. I actually like this on my wrist a lot. I wasn't as much of a fan of this on the shelf. That's why I almost went with the $48 watch. But this on my wrist, it fits well. It's a nice size. It's comfortable. I like it. If I'm going outside and working and doing some stuff in the woods, this right here will probably go on my wrist over the Loom Tech, which I love this Loom Tech, but I also don't want to destroy it in the woods. I'm very, very hard on equipment. There you have it. That's the Walmart EDC. I'm really quite happy with it. I could rock all of it, honestly. That is gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you wanna purchase anything you saw in this video, which some of these things I do highly recommend, they will be linked down below, probably on Amazon. You can also support me by going to carry.best or visiting my store, Carry Commission, and purchasing gear directly from me or merch. I got sticker packs, I got t-shirts. There's gonna be more added very, very soon as well as customized pens and magnetic quick releases, all sorts of stuff. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc if you want to support there and be sure to follow us around the web. You can find the channel on Twitter and Instagram at bestmedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at caspertech. And until next time, just, so fast. I know, I know. Oh my God, it's like word vomit. Yeah, I got to get it done. Gotta get, gotta get it done. Gotta it, get it over with. It hurts my ears. You know what hurts my ears? Not me. You, you're, you, you sound like, uh, what's Chandler's girlfriend? Oh my Yeah, God. you sound like her. What's her name? Janice Lippman Garel McNay Hosenstein. <sighs> oh, that hurts me. <laughs> the fact that you know all of that. Okay. I'm gonna go edit this now.